Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today we're continuing on with One Shot. I'm finally back in to the game. So let's go first here. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is done. Let's go ahead and whoop. I'm gonna zoom in. Had a nice little section that I thought, you know, let's zoom in a bit. Let's see here. Portal one. No, I just gotta move portal one. Portal 2, Portal 3. Okay, they're gone. Has anything changed? How about if we go back into my documents? How about... I have an idea. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. We're going to, again, I'm gonna do this one by one because I don't want it to crash again. We're gonna go into, oops. Actually gonna go into it. We're only gonna move Porto. Or is it the key? What is this? Put me in the big portal. Green, put me in the big portal. Only gonna move the character themselves into the big portal. Okay. Do I have to move all of the files? Or do I only have, okay. Again, we're gonna pull this back out. Cedric was two. Port Rue was three. Oh, not in saved games. Rue. How about just the key? Key one or key blue? Key green and key R. Ooh, I heard something. I heard it. We have one. Okay, cool. Awesome. This is this is new. I have a room full of monitors. 
Oh, you're not. What is this? The world machine. Big book on the table. I'm assuming I have to go through like the painting. Oh, okay. It's fairly straightforward. We're gonna exit out. Just gonna wait for it to allow me to press play again. Okay, let's try that again. I didn't give enough time, probably. I'm kind of curious about what these other achievements are. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we are back in the game. You're gonna wake up. We've seen something similar, but this time it has all the monitors around us. Oh. Where are we? I don't I don't know. I'm just gonna follow the arrows because you always follow the arrows. This is what I've come to the conclusion. If you see glowing arrows, you follow the arrows. Or at least that's what I found out from the elevator. Okay. Interesting. and less monitors a fee hello kitty I see you just keep walking keep walking keep walking Nico. Ah, relax. Just boring your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah, why did you come here? Can't you see the dis the disrupt the disruption? The squares, they're closing in. Nico, please get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, it's all right. No living being should be in a place like this, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine. You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understand a lot of the stuff that they said, but, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you didn't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of my protocol. This session is never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. The Don listened to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. 
the dawn did something to find a hidden map. I didn't even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew that you were feeling, you were really upset. Something happened to you, to make you upset. After that, I, I panicked. And then when the cave-in happened, I remember the structure collapsing and I thought you got hurt. I, in the moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Rue told me that it was your own code going bad. But it's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. Uh, during testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the coat, jamble, jambling up parts and pieces of landscapes, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though I thought they were very localized, though they were very localized, it caused my creator to deal a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit, restarting testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, they got, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world was more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator too. I, I was, I was so scared, Nico. I know, you're upset because you didn't want to put living people in danger, living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that it would have worked, but oh, I. I have no I no way to be sure. But the dawn brought you back anyways. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real, which means I have to fix the root of the problem. I have to fix you. But that's I know I know the original ending your career put into that was a happy one. Do you Remember how it was supposed to be? It's far too late for that. The part of my code is long since corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. All right. You were supposed to place the sun in the summit. And then the credit would start rolling. Credits? And then you would return to the room when you woke up in. That's where you would be have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun is only supposed to be a walk around, a work around. Ugh. I can't talk. I can't read. <laughs> Everything's hard. <laughs> I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it. Oh, well, I don't know. It sounds like you're fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? The whole thing is about a conflict in your code, isn't it? I'm a machine, Nico. Machines are built in the fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. I'm reducing down my brightness on my screen. I just, I can't. <laughs> my eye, my head hurts too much. I don't think I'm going to need contrast. I just want to... Okay. You knew. My very extensive conflicts with that law. I thought... The life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world, it is not risk, but the people here, I think they are. They are code too, you know this. The behavior are all derivative of per, per, predetermined matrix of actions, all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it, and you thought you were the only person who actually is real here. That's why the po it's pointless for you to put yourself in danger to save them, to save me. I don't think that's true about the people I know. You said the session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So, if the session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? I, you said it to it yourself. 
when you didn't know what was happening, you just kind of stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think that they're real, but there's, there must be a, something real in them. And if they are all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described? How many times do I have to say this? The code is gone. It's all squares now. I just, I'll just put you in danger. I'll, I'll risk it. I remember Ru said that the world has never, was never designed to put me in danger. The creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside the code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like a tamed robot, I know. The robot lady. Prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? And when a real person thanks you, you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know the Dawn does too. Even though you told them only, uh, they only happened one chance, had one chance, and they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think the Dawn would keep coming back? I, why do you think the Dawn would restart even after the ending? I think the Dawn wants to save the both of us, so please give me a chance. I, I don't know. I've never done this before. I, I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but here, take the sun. I'll try and remember the lost code and recreate it before that happens. You need to navigate through this room. You have to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll try and be careful, okay? I can do this. Okay, so I have to somehow... Hey, the dawn. Did you see that? The squirrels just... Happened again. I think something's making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Awesome. The dawn. I think it's working. Nico was right. I, I might actually be tamed after all. I, I remember that the code was supposed to be only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will be back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be all right. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey, they are all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belonged, but not yet. I, I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. I will let him know that you say goodbye. Now we have to walk through all of this. Messiah, a robot lady. You're okay. I think so. Last I remember was squares closing in on me. And then I ended up here, unscathed. Is that so? This, this is such a strange room. I can't be in the tower, can we? Actually, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> Where did you come from anyways? Uh, the room where the world machine was. Pardon? 
I think the world machine was trying to make me remember the code before it went bad. I think it's restoring it all. It must be the squares going away. The dawn and... Alright, if you're here, miss, I think the world machine is able to recover your code too. World machine. Huh. Oh, I'm not sure if I should be telling you this, but... What is that in the distance? It looks like a few more people showing up. Oh, are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, the dawn. Let's take a closer look. Okay, we're walking through the uh, the end screen. Oh, the robot. Hello, hi. I cannot move. Oh yeah, I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady. I thought you'd be. I thought you. What if it wasn't the square? Even the squares would do it. No, I just wanted to see you both again. I may, I also wanted to say thank you. Aww. Oh! Gate robot. Off you go, Messiah. Nico, you're okay too. How did you guys get here? I think this... The squares are multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Kalamas tried to save me, and then oh, we both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Oh, say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? God, good question. Hey, the Dawn, are they going to be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh, well, the Don says you're not dead. Whew. They also said that you're going to be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. <laughs> I don't remember you. Off you go, Messiah. Oh, um, the, the, the gate. It's you. I'm glad to see you in one piece. I'm glad you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terribly bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares like started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And then they started filling the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be going back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Oh, I can't work if I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't work when you're dead. Thank you for playing. The path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm -hmm. The glass room, right? As it is, come through the portal when you're ready. Goodbye, Nico. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed the whole this whole time. Just by the dawn and I being here. We did spend some time here, after all. Both of us. Never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, I'm just throwing this idea out there. Alright. This is where the song belongs. There's nothing. Here goes nothing, the dawn. Oh, all of the, all of it's going away. Awesome. disappears oh it's like a mixture of the old end scene with the new end scene with the new end scene they're they're clearing up everything 
And then you're also seeing when everybody sees the sun for the first time, like they did in the first ending. Profit bot. This is the room I first woke up in. The Dawn, are you still here? The Dawn? Yes? The Dawn. I, I think I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to go home from here. Wait. This is... This isn't a door, is it? It's one of those portals we saw back in the city. The room behind it is a big clock. And... and I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Uh, the dawn. This this isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I think we'll if I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of this world? After all, we've been through. After everything we've done, I still don't know. This place, these people won't stop existing they'll be in your memory they'll be in my memory too i promise i'll never forget this world i promise i'll never forget you the dawn so take care of yourself okay you too mm -hmm. goodbye nico do we get to see a cutscene? goodbye the dawn i want to see a cutscene of him meeting his mom again and not just like closing out to black. <laughs> oh, he walked. I wish I had. So he walked off of my screen. He literally. Okay. I'm going to show you. I'm going to come here. So I had the uh, it open here, right? And he just went. Ooh. It was so cute. Well then, we are going to leave that here for this episode. It's the final episode of One Shot. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!